Welcome to Learn and Draw. I am Anup Desai, working as lecturer. In this video, we learn to draw a 3D model using Solid Edge software. For more videos on 3D modeling, support me by subscribing to my channel. Now let's start drawing. When we open the solid edge software, we get the page like this. So for the 3D modeling, among these options, we have to select solid part. We get the page like this. So let's see the question. So this is the question front view and top view of the machine component. As you can see, the machine component is made up of two parts the bottom cylinder okay and the top cylinder the bottom cylinder has the diameter of 140 mm and it has the height of 20 mm the top cylinder has the diameter of 70 mm and height of 70 mm and also at the center it has a hole so it has a hole of diameter of 50 mm and also at the diameter of 100 mm across the bottom part it has four holes of diameter equal to 10 mm. So this is the question. So let's divide this into two parts the bottom part and the top part. Okay. First, let's draw the bottom part which has the diameter of 140 mm and height of 20 mm. So for this, let's select here protrusion. Then among these three planes, let's select the top plane. So here we have to draw a circle of diameter equal to 140 mm. Then press enter right click then press return so as we know the distance is 20 mm so press 20 and press enter then we have to press finish so now the one part is over let's draw the top part the top part has the diameter of 70 mm and height of 70 mm so in the same way, we'll select the protrusion. So again, we'll select this top plane. So here we'll draw a circle of diameter equal to 70 mm. Right click and then press return. So here we have to draw a height of 70 mm and press enter. Finish. Now, next part is we have to draw a hole of diameter equal to 50 mm across this whole machine component. So, for that, we have to select here cutout. Okay. After clicking the cutout, we have to select this plane. So, here we have to draw a circle of 50 mm at the center. Then right click, press return and here, here we have to select this option of cutout through all. Then the direction here should be at the bottom, then press finish. Next last part is that we have to draw the four holes and the Holes are at a distance of 100 mm. Okay. The holes have the diameter of 10 mm. So now let's draw this. This is present at the bottom part. So for that, again, we'll select this cutout option. Now we will select this bottom face. So here, since the distance between the holes is 100 mm, so we'll select the 
सर्कल एट द सेंटर विल ड्रॉ ए सर्कल ऑफ डायमीटर इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एम राइट क्लिक सो अलोंग दिस सर्कल वी हैव टू ड्रॉ फोर होल्स ऑफ डायमीटर इक्वल टू टेन एम एम सो फॉर दैट विल सेलेक्ट द सर्कल बाय सेंटर पॉइंट नेक्स्ट डायमीटर ऑफ द सर्कल इज टेन एम एम सो वी विल प्लेस दिस सर्कल एट दिस पॉइंट नेक्स्ट दिस इज द सेकेंड पॉइंट नेक्स्ट दिस इज द थर्ड पॉइंट एंड देन दिस इज द फोर्थ पॉइंट देन राइट क्लिक दिस सो वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट दिस सर्कल सो विल सेलेक्ट दिस सर्कल एंड प्रेस डिलीट ओके नेक्स्ट विल प्रेस रिटर्न अगेन विल सेलेक्ट हियर कट आउट थ्रू ऑल द डायरेक्शन शुड बी डाउनवर्ड्स एंड देन प्रेस फिनिश दिस कंप्लीट्स द थ्री डायमेंशनल व्यू ऑफ द मशीन कंपोनेंट सो लेट्स कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू द टू डायमेंशन फॉर दैट प्रेस कंट्रोल आई now we can see the object in the isometric view then let's save this file select save press okay so here we'll uh, type it as model 2 and then press save next select the file create drawing press okay then press next front next front view top view then isometric view then press finish so we'll get this drawing just place this over here since we are taking the print out in the a4 sheet so we have to select here sheet setup change this to a4 unclick this background save defaults press okay next we have to change the scale here select the drawing then change the scale to 0.7 then press enter next rearrange this after rearranging so we have the front view top view and the isometric view of the machine component so let's name the dimensions so for that so select here smart dimensions and then drag this to obtain the dimensions after naming all the dimensions let's name these parts for that select the text so here let's type front view top view and isometric view so select this part take the gray scale right click this and press on update view so here we will get the 3d view of our object this completes the three dimensional view of the machine component thank you for watching the video for more videos on 3d modeling subscribe to my channel learn and draw